Hello, welcome to your channel on biomechanics applied to table tennis. Today we will talk about displacement or footwork. Table tennis is characterized by being of anticipation due to the rapid adjustments of the orientation of the body, which needs to maintain balance through the center of gravity. During footwork, this action is performed mainly in the midfoot and not in the forefoot. Foot as you think. In order to analyze the longitudinal displacement called footwork table tennis, the movement must be divided into phases, actions, positions and postures in order to understand its temporal structure. It should be taken into account that there are different footwork, they have different biomechanical descriptions and their application in the game depends on each placement of the ball and game scheme. Simple step. It is generally used to move in a small range within a step and is primarily used to attack, push, rub, and cut the ball closer to the body. For example, when catching a short ball from the right near the net, kick the ball with the left foot, step with the right foot, and hit the ball after the center of gravity follows the right foot. Starting from the fundamental position, if the ball does not go very far, the table tennis player must raise the tarsus or heel of the lower limb corresponding to the side that is going to be hit. Once the total foot is taken off, the MI is it must move forward, leaving the opposite lower limb as a pivot. Shorter parallel step. Movement from right to left. It consists of two steps. First move the opposite foot, the left foot, sideways in the direction of movement, before the opposite foot lands, the other foot, the right foot, step by step in the direction of the movement, the first step is small, the next step is big. It is used for short turn shots. Range of motion is greater than a single step, but less than a jump step. There is no air movement when moving, which helps maintain the stability of the body's center of gravity. Helicopters are often used for large scale movements from left to right. Offensive players are used for forehand and roll attacks and are especially well suited for shooting, attacking, and splintering. The advantage of the parallel step is that you can maintain the basic posture of the body once it is in place, and the center of gravity is more stable than the step, which is convenient for strength and continuous forehand attack, but it is not as simple and fast as walking. Returning to the backhand position is more difficult than taking a step. Jump or double step. Since the ball on the opposite side of the foot, right foot, first pushes the ground hard, both feet lift off the ground at the same time, move to the left, and both feet land at about the same time. This type of footwork takes care of a wider range and a more stable center of gravity. Often used when attacking from the side to get a proper hitting position. Stride step. Push the ground on the inside of one foot, take a big step with the other foot in the direction of movement, push the heel off the ground, usually when the ball is a bit far away. The advantage of this footwork is that it is quick and easy to restore. Pay attention to the heel of the foot kicking quickly, otherwise it will make the distance of the foot too great, the center of gravity is low, and press on one foot, destroying the basic posture, before hitting the ball and affecting the quality of the shot. The cross step is a footwork with the greatest range of motion. It is mainly used to move the ball away from the body and can unleash the accelerating power of rotation when hitting the ball. We are going to develop this step in another video because I consider one of the most profound differences between the Chinese footwork and the rest of the countries.